All right. Space. Space station has gas, maybe? It does. The window on my face makes me feel so alive. Dude, rude. Wee. Like most people, you wanted to go to space when you were a kid, then you heard about how much math was involved and decided that shit wasn't for you. But now's your chance to indulge in your inner space cadet. What do you do? All right. Go into the communications room, dress up as astronauts, watch a rocket launch. Rocket launch? Okay. Yeah. I mean, we at least get more options to lose stuff. You sneak past security, open a bag of astronaut food, and settle in to watch the show. This is so cool, I can't believe we're, you're, we're going to watch a real rocket launch. You sure are, Scotty. And you know what every rocket launch needs? You know what every rocket launch needs, right? A rocket. No, a prank. Oh no. A rocket launch is probably the worst time to play a prank, actually. And that, Zoe, is why you're still just a prank master's intern. Didn't Zoe help you end a timeline once? Yes. In order to be a true master with the Z, you gotta see the potential pranks in every scenario, even a rocket launch. Right, and the perfect prank for a rocket launch is something involving a whip cushion, maybe? Nah, the perfect prank would be to set up a cardboard cutout of the moon and launch the rocket there instead. The old switcheroo. Okay, do we have enough cardboard to do that? No, sadly we used all of it to make that cardboard skyline of Detroit for our Liam thinks he's going to Detroit frame. Totally worth it, though. Well, then what do we do? Make our intern think of a prank, obviously. What should we do, Zoe? All right, replace the rocket's fuel with sugar. Okay, that might actually get us the magic, which we don't want. Replace the oxygen with helium. Replace the astronauts with corgis. I think we did that before. I don't think we, we got- We did, we did do that. Yeah. Um, we could replace- I don't want to do that because we'll get fuel out of it, I think. Yeah, let's yeah. do the middle one. That sounds hilarious. Everyone will laugh so hard, they won't be able to breathe. They're not going to be able to breathe for lots of reasons, but that's the astronaut's problem, not yours. Besides, they probably train for this, right? Astronaut training preps you for lots of emergencies. Having all the oxygen replaced with helium is probably one of them. You, Polly, and Scott hook up the helium tank they packed for prank emergencies to the rocket, then sneak into Mission Control to watch the show. Mission Control, this is Test Rocket 9. Do you copy? Test Rocket 9, this is Mission Control. Is there a problem with your communication equipment? Your voice sounds strange. It sounds like our equipment is fine. What's the problem? Haha, <laughs> sorry, your voice just sounds so funny and squeaky. What's that? Oh my god, my voice does sound different. Is anyone else in here having trouble getting a breath? Getting a breath? <laughs> Mission Control! Mission Control! Mission Control, stop laughing! This isn't funny, we're running out of air! Ha <laughs> Test Rocket 9, you can't take you seriously when you sound like an angry baby. Classic. You, Polly, and Scott high-five over your pranking genius. You lose three soul for suffocating the astronauts, no. uh, but you gain three hype. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, we got enough hype to finish. Um, mm -hmm. That's not good. <laughs> okay, I guess <laughs> we're going to try to lose some hype here. God damn. Okay. Ooh, I don't know what to do here then. We got a secluded village where we could get even more hype. <laughs> uh, or all hell. I mean, I feel like with the Mer Kingdom, we could lose hype very easily to to even Let's ourselves out. All hail the Mer King! That was so cool. Can we go to space, Polly? Maybe next road trip. In what appears to be a former aquarium, you see the Merkingham flag flying from the rooftops. It seems the underwater monarchs have been expanding their territories. Well, no reason not to visit the tyrannical ocean overlords. What do you want to do? All right. Attend to fan... Okay, I think we were able to lose hype last time we did that. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, we just got to choose yeah, the Yeah, because the loser. We, we did the... All right, fish, Marlin fancy thing. clothing... The stuff with the Merking. If anyone wants to say stuff, but I think we have seen this before. Huzzah! Uh, liberated fish, and now they're all gonna be slaves of the Mer Kingdom instead. Something about an advisor is not a good cause. All right. Yes. Who are we dancing with? We gotta. All right. As much as I want to go it with was... Flipper, we gotta do this guy because he's gonna yeah. lose us some hype. Okay. Blah blah blah. He lost his son. Where's my son Nemo? Whoa! Blah 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 blah. Okay. 
and rest of the night. Plus three soul, minus three height. Okay. Did we just trade one for another? Yeah, pretty much. Well, no, our soul's fine. It's... Okay. Yeah. All right, we gotta lose us some magic. Business summit or city under attack? We're gonna have to go city. Yeah, that sounds cool. I'm bored. I want something to happen now. Asking you shall oh. receive. The car has stopped. Hey, we'll gain soul out of it. You're trying to find a radio station to listen to while you drive, but there's nothing good on. The first station is, an, is on commercial. The second is just someone pleading for help. The third is playing a 24-hour yodeling special. Wait, back up. Someone's pleading for help. You switch back to that station. Anybody out there, please help me, the voice is saying. I'm trapped. You trapped where, bro? In the radio? Don't worry, I'll save you. No, Scott, don't punch the radio. Hand me the ham radio transceiver so we can talk to this guy. Hey, boo. Your distress signal has reached fan favorite Polly Geist. Please hold your applause. Okay, I was just being humble. You can give me a little applause. Oh, d don't get me wrong. I'd love to, but one of my hands was crushed under this boulder while I was doing some off-trail hiking, so no clapping for me. Ouch. Ouch indeed, it's a real pickle. I've been stuck here for 12 hours and I'm about to enter drinking my own pee to stay hydrated territory. Ooh, yikes. It's a situation all hikers prep for, but hope it never comes to. Yeah, so can you help me? I'm not getting any Wi-Fi to call the paramedics myself and I really don't want to drink my own pee. Or die for that matter. Hmm. You tend to be more of a hindrance than a help, but you can definitely try. Who he needs help fast. Do the sensible thing, search online for a way to get his Wi-Fi back so we can call the paramedics. Okay, hear me out. What if this is all just a dream? <laughs> I mean we're getting soul. I don't know what we're losing, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah. All just a dream. Oh, good point, Mr. Hiker. What if this is all just a dream and you're safe in bed right now? What? That's stupid. Can't you just call the paramedics to come save me? But what if we call the paramedics and it turns out this is just it was all a dream scenario? It'd be majorly embarrassing. Just pinch yourself and see if you wake up, bro. There's no harm in trying all your all our options. God damn it, fine. You're right, it was all a dream. I'm at home in my bed. Who could have thought? Zoe did. You're welcome, bro. But wait, if it was all a dream, how are we still talking right now? Weren't you guys part of my dream? I mean, I am pretty dreamy, but I don't think I'm literally in a dream. Well, I guess it's like when you're awoken from a dream and still see remnants of it while you're waking up. Yeah, that's probably it. Thanks for the help, dream people. I'll always remember you for the next 10 minutes until I forget about this dream. Bye. Boy, that was weird. Polly? Yeah? Are we real or are we just figments of somebody else's imagination? Mm -hmm. At this point, who even knows? You gained three soul for helping the trapped hiker, but lose three mind as a result. That's fine. Just gotta lose some hype. Or some magic. Or some hype. I don't care. Burning buildings, screaming people, and eardrum shattering roars. There's no question about it. A kaiju is attacking the city. I'm She's not sure. Having a birthday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure why you decided to visit a city, obviously experiencing a deadly event, but then again, I don't know why you even expect logic from why I even expect logic from you anymore. Nevertheless, you need now need to protect yourself from death by giant reptile. What do you do? Fight the kaiju, evacuate the city, accept your fate. Oh. What is what that? Is that a symbol? I'm is very that an curious. Ending? I don't know. I want to know. I want to know. Yeah, what's the point of fighting or running? The city is being attacked by a giant kaiju. Even if you do survive, life around here is going to be bleak as fuck. Uh, is giant kaiju not redundant? No. Cheer up, guys. Embracing the inevitability of death isn't all bad. It's also a great excuse to drink. Come on, I know a nice place. Polly takes you all to a rooftop bar that's miraculously still standing. You grab some liquor and set and sit on the balcony to drink and watch the kaiju destroy everything. So how do we embrace our fate? Is it like a tackle hug or more of a gentle caress of the unknown? Whichever you want, Boo. Find that the final moments of one's life are great for introspection, reliving your best moments, or making connections with strangers. There's also just like screaming incoherently, but that's not as fun. Making connections sounds cool. You look around to see who else is here and you lock eyes with, whoa, the kaiju. Whoa. Oh. 
Interesting. <laughs> this just got different. <laughs> Very. No, it didn't. This was a game about dating monsters. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, but we never had the fair. affection meter before. Don't look now, Zoe, but I think that a hundred foot tall hottie over there is checking you out. Technically, oh, Zoe can become a hundred foot tall hot hottie too, so. True. This could work. <laughs> Who wants to be the hot uh, kaiju? Envy hasn't said anything all game. That's true. Why, well, hello there, puny creature. Don't mind me. I'm just taking a breather. Leveling an entire cityscape can be so exhausting, you know. Oops, so silly me. It appears I dropped my traffic light garnish. Let me just bend down to grab it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them cheeks! Zoe, you better go over there and strike up a conversation before I swoop in and do it for you. Okay, can we actually click, like, gift or anything? I... Mm, doesn't appear so. Dang. Sure, chat up the giant city-destroying monster. This might as well happen. What are you, your openers? Discuss how you see yourself as a rural soul so you understand the kaiju's hatred of big cities. Tell the kaiju you understand its rampant anger. You were in the same bad place until you started practicing mindfulness. Mm. I don't oh, know. Boy. Discuss. Um, so I think one will get us soul and I think the other one will get us mind. Possibly. Yeah. Alright, so we'll go with the first one. Yes. Woo! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feed the kaiju some bullshit about how you're a rural soul who grew up living off the land and how the city slickers will never get you. You talk about your childhood best friend, Pecky the Chicken, and how he taught you more about life and love than a fancy penthouse ever could. The kaiju has no experience with bullshitters like you, so it totally buys into this cottagecore fantasy. Oh my god, our affection went up. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really nice. I also hate cities. Too big, too proud mocking me with their grid layouts and tiny, squishy populations. It's nice to dream about leaving the city life and finding a quiet ranch in the hills. We'd spend our days churning butter and e eating innocent people. Well, did the kaiju say our days? I think it's falling for you, Zoe. What? No, 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 it was an accident. The kaiju punches a building <laughs> to smithereens, blushing furiously. Oh, so shy. The kaiju's crush, huh? <laughs> Get it? Gives you confidence to keep flirting. A true monster fucker at heart. You gotta see where this goes. How do you flirt with a kaiju to let it know you're interested too? I should draft an urbanize uh, an urbanization plan between my legs, cause I can see you going on a rampage down there. I've been waiting for years to say this for real. Step on me, daddy, or baby. Uh, that one feels like a height. Oh, that's definitely a hype, because that's a mind thing, I think. And yeah. our mind ain't shit today. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> funny. I've never heard Helicopter. that one before. Wow, really? No, <laughs> I'm, I'm a fucking kaiju. I hear the step on me line at least five times a day. But, uh, let it slide for you, Zoe. For a tiny, pathetic creature I could easily crush between my toes, you're pretty hot. Said to anyone else that makes sense except Zoe. Yeah. She could crush your entire reality, dude. Man, nothing gets you hornier than talking about kaiju <laughs> toes. That is going really, this is going really well. Zoe, I can see that you're trying to bone that kaiju and I'm trying to work on my reading the room skills and not bothering you, but an angry military man has been on the phone for you for 15 minutes and I've run out of songs to sing to make him think he's on hold. Oh shit, you take the call. The military man tells you that he's worked with the mayor and a team of scientists to build a mecha capable of defeating the kaiju. Since you're the only one who can get close enough to, to the kaiju, they want you to pilot the mecha to kill it. Oh no. Wait, we can use this... Take the mecha, we'll tell them we're gonna kill it, but in reality, you're gonna use the mecha to fuck the kaiju. 
Hmm, not a bad idea. But doesn't a mecha need to be powered by at least five people? Oh my Don't God. worry, Zoe. What? That's what friends are for. Polly and I will pilot the mecha's wings. We can be your wingmen. Yeah, and the government's sending some engineering nerds to be the legs anyway. I bet those guys never get any action. They'll just be excited to be a part of it. And you, Zoe, you'll pilot the most important the part dick. of all. The head? No, silly. The Robocock. Oh, look at that. It just go. Oh. You're turning our little sexual sexual foray into a fire song. You really are kinky. I'm in. The mecha arrives. You all take your places and everyone pledges consent to the situation. Your kaiju mecha sex is clear for takeoff. The only thing left to do is set the right romantic tone. What's your approach? Destroy the power plant and set some buildings on fire to make the perfect sexy mood lighting. You can worry about the cost of the collateral damage tomorrow. Think outside the box. In movies, mechas use their surroundings as weapons. So you can use a train as anal beads? Why not? Ooh. Okay, so one is money, and then the other one... What is the other one? Um... I mean, thinking creatively might also be mind. I think a lot of this has been mind-based with the uh, using something as something else or writing out a, an urban plan kind of thing. So that's mind, and mind is one of our bottom-tier stats right now. And we yeah. think this... Wow, well, hold on. Destroy the power plant, set some building... Might also be hype again. Yeah, let's Worry like about the cost of collateral damage first. might be money. I don't know. That's what I mean. Either way, I think it'll work. Okay. Okay, fine. Funny. Meanwhile, on the ground, the team of scientists and engineers who built the mecha are anxiously watching the kaiju robot battle. Here comes the mecha. I'm. It's gonna tackle the kaiju. Oh, wait, it looks like it's actually tackled. Oh, the nuclear power plant. Well, maybe the mecha pilots are trying to smother the nuclear light and use the darkness to, to their advantage. Oh, no, they're just lighting random buildings on fire. Has the mecha turned against us? No, no, no. Stay calm. I'm sure this is all part of the plan. We gave the mecha to our finest trained soldiers. No, we didn't. We gave it to three random civilians in the, on a rooftop bar. Oh, well, we might be fucked then. <laughs> Looks like the kaiju is certainly getting fucked. Wait, you mean we're that we're actually winning? That's great. Uh, sort of. Like the kaiju's laying on the ground and the mecha's on top of it, gyrating. The scientists watch in awe as you dick down the kaiju. I mean, I can't really blame her. What admits, we did put a big metal dick on the robot. What did we expect? I'm not mad. Given the opportunity, I, I wouldn't hesitate to have sex with a kaiju either. Kaijus are fucking awesome. Plus, the kaiju can't destroy the city while it's having mind-blowing prostate orgasms. I guess sometimes love triumphs war. I think our work here is done, friends, says the lead scientist, smoking a cigarette. Let's give these crazy kids some privacy. So concludes the story of how Zoe fucked a kaiju. You How and your fuck. friends drive away, <laughs> your fuck God buddy returns to the ocean, and you gain two hype and one magic. I thought that was an ending. I thought that was an ending. I thought we were getting Same. a... Oh, shit, we really gotta... Hold on. We need 21 hype for a thing. So we're not in the danger zone just yet, but should we instead do the noodle swap for magic or for Yeah. Hype? Well, let's... Let's just see. See okay. what's in the store. Later that night. Wowdy doodles, Zoe! Are you here to make a trade? I just stole, uh, mm -hmm, found all the stuff in the chaotic dimension beyond the breadth of mortal understanding. Feel free to take anything that hatches your eye. Okay. Uh, someone else's credit card, bounty hunter contract, postcard from your mom, driving. That's mine. That's. Soul. Soul. And this is. These are both money. Mhm. Mm we what have do a we lot got of on noodle side. Noodle side. We got money. Just straight up money. Nuclear codes. Uh, some stamina stuff, and I don't know what that other one is. We have some soul to spare. True. Yeah. Let's All right. get rid of our soul. Ashes of a man who's dying needs <laughs> to be given to a random road tripper. The fuck would that be? I think that would also be soul. 
I mean, they were no the wor none the worse for wear, I guess. True. We could get some stamina, though. Okay. Wouldn't hurt. Thanks for stopping by till your sleeper out. Speed demons, I said hi! Alright. Oh, no, we need... Oh, it's the hard route. We need 30 to get to Hype Land. Oh, okay. Yeah, everything That's increases better. a little bit. So that does give us more time. Alright. We really gotta drop that magic. Ugh. Oh, uh, that's mind and stamina. That's not magic. National Park yeah. or Simon Soups. Soup. Supernatural. Soup. The pun. Super special place. Hmm. Here's... Uh, if we... Well... One is mind, one is stamina. What else could possibly be lost here? My thought is magic if we drive through the National Park, but... Could be something else. I don't know. We have more possibilities maybe with the soup. 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 All right, soup time. Soup. Finally, from respite from wacky stuff. Nope. Ooh. Never. Oh. Warning: You're about to activate a plot line. For a plot line oh. to appear, you first need to hoard enough of a resource, and they only appear if you've been on the road trip for enough weeks. First, a road event will simply let you decide if you want to engage with the plot line or not. Your choice. If you choose to take on the plot line, you'll see three special road events. Two are common exchange events, but the last one is an incremental event. What the fuck mm -hmm. is that, you may be asking. I'll tell you, an incremental event has three stages. In each stage, you'll face two options. Here, each option is tied to one of your resources. You must choose the option tied to your highest resource of the two. If you choose wrong, you'll fail. The incremental event will end and the plot line will be canceled. If you succeed at the three stages, you'll unlock a new layer for the destination tied to the plot line. But remember, you'll only see that awesome layer if you reach said destination. Godspeed. Hey, uh, you just reached a high amount of hype. Good for you. Does that mean you're aiming for the hype-based destination? If so, there's a wacky adventure that can unlock a layer, a layer for that destination. Want to go for it? Oh, I kind of wanna. Yeah, I feel like we've been trying to ruin our lives, but at the same time, like these opportunities don't come up that often. Yeah. Let's do it. Great, the adventure will be waiting for you on the road. Sorry for breaking the fourth wall. See ya. Bye. Okay, this rundown soup restaurant seems to be years past its prime. Still, you're hungry, and a bowl of soup would really hit the spot right now. What's the worst that could happen? Some kind of murderous robot pops out of the shadows to kill you? <laughs> now nah, that's way too unlikely and weirdly specific to happen. So what do you want to do at Simon Soups? All right. Uh, soup time. Celebrate your birthday. Work the night shift. We did work the night shift, and it just lost stamina, I think. Or it gained a stamina from soup, and we lost our minds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could, think that was it. We, we could celebrate our birthday. Yeah, I mean, we have, like, um, yeah, what with the, uh, the, uh, hype stuff. As you walk inside, yeah. you see a sign that says you get special privileges if it's your birthday. Now there's an opportunity the Prank Masters can't miss. Welcome to Simon Soups, where the broth of childhood and vegetables of imagination are combined to create unforgettable magic. I'd like a booth for me and my friends. Make sure to get a special seat for Zoe. It's her birthday. Wait, really? I had no idea. Happy birthday, bro. Okay, your party can sit in the birthday superstar booth in front of the main stage. I'll boot up the birthday show. Hi, pals. <laughs> we heard today is your super special birthday. That means it's time for the birthday song. Initiating non-copyrighted birthday song number 66.6. Six. Happy, happy birthday from Simon Soup to you. Happy, happy birthday. May all your dreams be soup. Why, why were you born so succulent? Why were you born at all? Because you had no say in it, no say in it at all. Just know that you're, just know that on your birthday, you're my super special pal. Now be a good girl this year or we will hunt you down. Thanks for visiting your old pal Simon Soups for all your soupendous birthday needs. See you next year. If you make it that long. What? Hey again. Did you like the birthday show? It was threatening. Yep. Anyway, Simon Soups LLC would like to offer the birthday girl a super duper birthday perk. You can pick anything off of this list. 
Ooh. Be the first to cut, the, cut a slice of the birthday soup. Free <laughs> brainstorming session for the creation of your very own super Sona. Uh, an exclusive lap dance from Simon himself. <laughs> oh. All right, wow. we gotta, we gotta. Uh, that wasn't on the list. It's okay, I'll do it. Nothing gets my, my broth boiling like a good lap dance. Lap dancing is my third favorite thing under soup and murder. What? <laughs> Mr. Leak. No, I said I said what I said. You're already off script. Corporate can't silence me. Does this mean Zoe's actually gonna get a lap dance from an animatronic? No way. Yes way. Initiating sexually arousing theme. Do not release number 69. Nice. Hey there, pal, you're looking dreamy. Is that a carrot in your pocket or are you happy to see me? Your thighs are thicker than cream of wheat. I'll grind on them as a birthday treat. Like <laughs> delicious ramen on. We'll be spicy and leaky. Come on, gang, it's time to get freaky. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Twerk that veggie ass! Make it rain! <laughs> Polly showers the animatronics with five muddy. You see the waitress trying to sneakily scoop it all into her pockets. We can make it rain too. Let's get this birthday girl wet. Simon Soup pulls a cord from the <laughs> ceiling and pours soup all over you, flash dance style. Best fake birthday ever. You gain three hype from the lap dance and two stamina from looking soup off Simon's pointy orange nub. Um. My <laughs> god. Zoe's this... just fucking everything. <laughs> wow. <sighs> a charming little village. Or a cryptic tech company. We need money. We, we do need uh, some money, yes. Wow, we're getting there. Let's hope nothing weird happens. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!